Hobby Lobby sprung a couple of their clearance sales on us early this year. I'm Michelle, this is my Romantic Tangle, and I usually start watching for the needlework clearance around my birthday and the yarn clearance in June. They mark them both down on the 14th at my local store. Not every store marks them down on the same day, so it can be based on previous years spread out over maybe a week or two. So if you're not seeing sales at your store, don't panic yet. If you're worried that they're clearancing what looks like everything in the needlework department, don't panic yet. They do this every year and so far they have always brought back newer, better, more exciting, or at least different things or sometimes things that look just like what they already clearanced out. So I don't know that the fact that they are clearancing means anything for the future. I had an appointment in town, so I decided to leave early and stop by Hobby Lobby on the way because I was going to have to spend the gas and time to get there anyway. At the time that I got there, she was just starting to mark down needlework. So I went to my appointment. I called my mom. I said, hey, they're marking down needlework and yarn today. Do you want to go out to lunch with me? <laughs> and we'll kill time and come back later in the afternoon because I can't drive 50 miles and come back tomorrow. That works great for people who live in town, but not so much for me. So as soon as my appointment was over, we went back to Hobby Lobby and she'd marked a bunch of the needlework stuff down. And we went out to lunch in the grocery store and killed a ton of time. And by the time we got back there and I had to start thinking about the drive home, they had not clearanced any yarn. I don't know if I'll make it back for yarn, but I did look at some needlework and I did get some fun things. So I'm going to show you my little... Probably we could call it a mini haul. It was not as fantastically glorious as I've seen other stitchers getting. I don't know what is up with my two local stores that I have access to. They haven't had big kits in stock for months and my hopeful theory is maybe as they have had their 30% off sales, which they do frequently, they didn't replace that inventory knowing it would be on clearance soon. I hope they replace it with new stuff, but what will be will be. So what I did get, and I got a decent amount. I got some of the big cuts of Ada. These are Zweigart. They're Artiste brand, but they're actually Zweigart. And these are what? 29 by 36 inches. So almost a yard. Two of these are 11 count. I've used a lot of 11 count in Riola's kits. I love the way it looks with landscapes. And for $2.99 for an almost full yard piece, I will do that. And this one is 22 count. I will 100% do that. And then I got for a dollar 24, this is two tea dyed muslin tea towels to embroider on or use in my kitchen. If they'd have more of these, I would have bought these. I keep going to the Hobby Lobby clearance every year and buying towels with the intention of embroidering on them, but then I need more kitchen towels, so I wind up using them in my kitchen because I can always embroider on them later. I mean, they're going to be used in the kitchen, so whether I do them now or later, <laughs> they're still usable towels. This is 32 count Murano in mustard and rust. They're beautiful colors. I don't do a tremendous lot of even weave, but for $1.49 each, I will take that. Now, usually these sales seem to be 75% off. Some of this is a little higher than it would have been priced if it was 75% off, and some of it is less expensive than it would have been, so I don't know what they're doing this year. I wasn't, I was focused on the end price more than I was focused on the discounts, so I'm not worried about any of this. They had Aunt Martha's iron-on patterns for 24 cents. This one is pies. This one is just some flowers, but I want to play with that liquid embroidery, and maybe I'll use that. This one is just some cute vintage -y kitchen stuff, and I did not notice the Pyrex bowls or the cat clock when I bought this. I don't know what I thought I was buying. Some kind of folk art looking chickens. The stitchers 
and the label is covered so I can't tell quite what that is. The stitchers, whatever, those were a little more expensive. They were a whole 49 cents. And then they had some of the Artiste Floss packets on sale. This one is a lot of earth tones and then this one is some really cute florals. I have used the Artiste on projects. I don't see a significant enough difference in the quality of this in DMC that I would even bat an eye. It is six-stranded cotton. It's fine. It is 74 cents for how many skeins? 36 skeins for 74 cents. So even if the quality was significantly less than DMC, I still wouldn't complain. They had no scissors that I saw, only a few needles. These are ribbon embroidery and I got it for that big monstrous darning needle because for 49 cents I figured it was worth it just for that. I use it to weave in ends on things. I got a zippered eyeglass case. The sewing themed one I keep in my car for my sunglasses because when you wear prescription sunglasses they're expensive and need a case. The hinge broke I don't know how many years ago so I am hoping they fit in here with the zipper and if not mom wears glasses maybe they'll fit hers we were shopping at did not have a lot of cross stitch kits they had some embroidery and some punch needle and i started filming this video saying there were no cross stitch kits but then i looked at the video and there were more than i remember i think that they were just because they were things that i wasn't going to stitch myself i immediately forgot about them there was one Star Wars one, and they had a lot of the Jack Dempsey pre-stamped pillowcases and quilt blocks for embroidery. They've had these on sale in previous years, and they've always replaced them with something similar but different. They also had a lot of punch needle kits, and I'm not sure what some of this was. I wasn't going to stitch it, so I didn't look too closely, and I apologize for that one has printed fabric for that bottle and then some metallic for the leaves for $1.74. I thought it was cute and I have not done punch needle yet. I think I have a punch needle from previous clearance sales. So for $1.74, I grabbed these two. I thought they were cute. It's a technique I want to try. And then this little project bag that says Happiness is Handmade. The top is kind of like a Ziploc bag, but it was only $0.74. Cents. And for $2.49, I thought that this bag was too cute to leave behind because I have never got enough bags for all of my projects. And it's got some great punch needle sort of texture to it. So I got it too. I have seen hauls on Facebook where people got lots of kits and lots of big dimensions kits that are absolutely gorgeous. So even though I've been hearing that the Hobby Lobby posts are repetitive, we didn't all find the same stuff. 100% honest. Yes, I would have loved to have found some of those kits that other stitchers are getting, but I am happy with what I've got. I am very anxious to see what they replace it with. I'm hoping for more new different kits. There were honestly a couple of kits that I would like to have bought before the clearance sale. I tried to go back and I think it was January to see what the stock of kits were and if there was anything I wanted to buy before it hit clearance, but the section was already bare by then. So I hope my theory was right and that they didn't restock and that they will get new things in after the sale and maybe this is a lesson to me to not wait till January next time. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm hearing a lot of doom and gloom, but I cannot count the number of times our local Walmart has supposedly gotten rid of its entire craft selection forever and it keeps coming back bigger than before. Joann's has gotten rid of their kits and brought back new kits and added anchor and I found brand new embroidery kits at the Dollar Tree in Crafters Square yesterday, so obviously embroidery is still popular. It might not all be the counted cross stitch, but needlework must still be a thing if Dollar Tree is introducing new lines of it. 
So I'm optimistic. I'm Michelle. This is my romantic tangle. Thanks for watching. If I do go back and look for yarn, there will be another video soon. If not, I'll still have another video soon. It just won't be Hobby Lobby clearance stuff.